Welcome to NX10 level 2 design simulation and this is the part 2 if you have completed your level 1 then this is for you where we'll be looking into the advanced concept of design simulation and let us look at the Nasan Salval's uh, power and here is the agenda and if you look at this agenda we have total six different chapters and the final one with your projects here and the chapter one will be about the solver foundation and next we'll be discussing about very important aspect of quality check and return on investment ROI next we'll be discussing more about post processor and its important uh, importance uh, inside your uh, analysis process and next we'll look at the preference and information and these two are advanced option, the adaptivity and the optimization and finally we will be applying over the projects in final project chapters. Let us start with the solver foundation and you may be wondering what is this solver and what is this typical concept we will be looking inside this and the solver is about the typical algorithm or the way the Nastran VFs that you configure for particular analysis type and the analysis type may be basics or may be advanced so based on that what all different facilities you have and which all facilities you do not have that you have to know and in this particular session we'll be discussing that when the necessary pre-processing options are set up and the part check completes the scenario is ready for analysis and the NX Nastran solver applies the Nastran technology towards solving linear static, linear buckling, normal model and steady state heat transfer problem as well. And here we'll be looking at those how to prepare and configure that basics. In foundation solver we'll be discussing this concept like how we can perform the analysis and how we can select the Nastran solver and how to do that the linear static analysis and other type of analysis which we can also use those four options we'll be discussing in this particular chapter if you open any particular model and this particular model you can also open for from your exercise folder and if you see this particular solver here we have not yet selected but by default you can see the design simulation and if you go to this application tab here you can either go to design or advanced when you pick advanced the simulation will be advanced and currently we are not uh, looking at the advanced simulation because we have our module where we have discussed this advanced simulation particular engine but here we are discussing about the design simulation and once you select this design simulation the solver NX Nastran design is available and type of analysis is in fact the structural or thermal as I was discussing so when you start with the structural and whatever the CAD model you have that directly will be created and here you can see the related file the FEM and simulation file also will be created from this CAD part whatever you have created dot PRT and once you go for OK next you will be looking at the type of analysis or the solution type which is very very important and this particular name you can give anything in fact I am giving it the part underscore a underscore analysis underscore scenario 1 and I am making it capital and here you can see the solver is the same solver and type of analysis structural and here you can configure even you have a 3d model here if you have a 2d base also you can configure this is not applicable here and solution type is very important so here what all different analysis types you can configure that you can have a detailed understanding here and that I will be explaining as well and here if you click three different module you have the like linear static single constant vibration model or the linear buckling so these are the 
three different mode which you have under this once you select this you can see the configuration also will be accordingly done so this is the basic options which you can have the accessibility through this particular analysis engine that is design simulation and that you can directly handle through this particular analysis system here we'll look at couple of different the general settings here you can see the element iterative solver and if you select this particular element iterative solver what does it mean and this is available only in nx nastern solver and uses the element iterative solver which can reduce process time basically and also you have other options that will be looking at maximum job time you can see and this maximum job time if you try to use this what is that exactly you need to also understand allows you to set the maximum cpu time to use so here you can set the maximum cpu time which you can allot that also you can use uh, in this uh, particular area and here you can see something called flat shell rz stiffness factor and what is the meaning of this this also is very important and i'll be explaining this the entered factor value is added to the normal rotation for element and a value between 1 and 100 is recommended for suppressing the grid point singularities and by default maximum 100 you can apply or you can reduce to uh, get uh, that factorization and these are the most uh, uh, frequently used option and you can also ignore material temperature dependencies if you need so can control temperature dependent exported to the Uh, material uh, data database where the cards are stored and properties are inserted you know, uh, from there and those are evaluated at the material reference temperature or the default temperature so in that case you can use it otherwise you can just ignore that as well and next we'll see the result option here you can see what exactly we are looking at the stress or the displacement or the strain listing whatever exactly you need to see and maybe the element force listing or the reactions that all you can configure before going for any solution and typical contact case you are handling then you can have the contact configuration here where you have the technical configuration here that also uh, as well you can give like the penalty factors or maybe the tangential directions of your contact condition that all you can directly feed it so that also you can a part of configurations in contract condition only you can use but mostly in linear cases we do not uh, handle the contract case because for that we will be preferring the advanced licensing and once this is done you can go for okay and once you go for okay you are accessible for solve analysis to monitor and other type and before uh, going for any further actions you have to apply the load type like the force bearing torque pressure gravity rotations etc and constant where it is fixed and what about the boundary condition that you have to apply and then you can go for the solve analysis job monitor and then the solutions can be retrieved from there and also in our sessions we'll be discussing about element quality check how you can monitor and you can refine that as well from this model and before proceeding you have to go for the mesh configuration material properties etc which already you have already completed in level 1 which already we have shown but here we'll be investigating and going a deep drive inside the advanced options where we'll be looking at those analysis engine and types